spend hours on social media every day, but soon they may no longer be able to create their own accounts in Tennessee. Good evening. I'm Lauren Lowry. And I'm Marius Payton. A bill's going through the state capitol that already has bipartisan support. It would ban Tennessee kids and teens from making a social media account without their parents' consent. Our Marissa Sulik explains what parents need to know now. Anyone 18 years or older can make a social media account without an adult under this new bill. If they are under 18, they must have parental consent, which social media user Jenna Beerley agrees with. I think that's valid. Like, I think parents being involved in it, especially when kids are so young, getting social media and how that can influence them, I think it's a good idea. The bill being pushed by Governor Lee would also allow parents to supervise their child's account with certain controls. There's no specifics for how the age verifications would look. That is up to each social media company. But lawmakers, who are also parents, have concerns. My 15-year-old, who I do not want to have a TikTok account, uh, has a TikTok account because my 16-year-old verified that she was her parent. Governor Lee's team says issues like this would fall back on the social media company. And they would still be in violation of the law, even if they thought that they had verified and gotten consent, because at the end of the day, she's still a minor and that was not her parent that gave the consent. Monday next, please. Today, the bill was rolled in the Senate to Monday. It already passed the House with bipartisan support. Eyes 88, two nays, five present, I'll vote it. But Representative Afton Bain was one of two lawmakers to put it down. But unfortunately, this is a really bad bill. Um, it would disproportionately impact at-risk youth by mandating parental consent. Um, and it's problematic for our LGBTQIA youth who use a lot of online platforms to find connection um, and representation. She says it's a big government surveillance bill, but some Tennesseans say it's a step in the right direction. Just knowing that like they're on that and can be aware of what's going on in their lives a little bit more. In Nashville, Marissa Sulik, WSMD4. If this bill is signed by Governor Lee, it would go into effect January 1st. Other states have similar laws, but have been sued by companies who say it's a burden for them. Tennessee lawmakers say this legislation would work with the companies. Dave